Hey guys, it's me again. Um, today we have a uh, laptop uh, motherboard that came in. This is a from a HP Biv uh, Pavilion 15 inch something something. I don't remember the model number. This was water damaged and customer said the option to replace the board is not an option. It has to be, this board has to be repaired because apparently the he has Windows 10 installed and there's BitLocker on it and BitLocker it checks a bunch of IDs and stuff so if you change the board those some of those IDs will possibly be changed as well and uh, it won't work for him uh, it won't allow the, uh, the the disk or I should say him he has a NVMe here that I pulled it up but he has normally an NVMe drive and it, if we put a new board in with the NVMe drive uh, the Windows won't boot. Uh, it will just refuse to boot or whatever. So this board has to be fixed. So we're trying to find out where the fault is. Now, I did a quick quick peek around this board to see what we have going on. There's a couple of things I noticed. Um, this was actually, first of, all, first of all, this was given to another person. Uh, some stupid uh, flea market whatever technician or something i don't know basically a guy that uh you know he's running a little booth there in a flea market or something and has like a bunch of phone cases you know he wants to sell and quite frankly i don't know if he knew what he was doing because he he changed this chip now i want to just show you the quality of the job he did if it's possible if you can see it on the camera so this is not my work this is his work all these all these poor jobs like all, all these poor connections doesn't look very good so we're gonna clean this up and we're gonna put some nice solder and we're gonna make it proper we're gonna do it properly so he just tried a bunch of stuff and after a while i guess gave up because you know it wasn't worth his time so we're gonna see if we can find the fault now i was taking some measurements and this chip is not getting any power so normally if this chip should be getting some power if i'm not mistaken uh i checked the data sheet this is a this is a bios chip by the way actually and uh this chip it's not getting any power so we did i did check my main power this i'm using a dell adapter but it's it's the same it works the same way it has 19.5 uh, volts that come in and whatever so I get power that's coming in, and I don't see it dropping. So the 19.5 coming in is 19.5. Uh, but I don't, I have to double check because on the connector I'm measuring 19.5. But my voltage is not dropping. So I guess it's a good sign, but there's somewhere, and here I don't know if this is supposed to measure 19.5, because I'm measuring 13 off this main power tracer or whatever you want to call it so i don't know if this is meant to read 19.5 so i still got to do a couple of checks and another thing i noticed uh where was it right over here right over here if you look very carefully my camera's not going to focus for this we got two components here and they're they're loose so we got to put those back. I don't know how that happened. Because, <laughs> again, I didn't do anything really to this board other than just peeking around and trying to guess what happened. I think the water damage is in this area. Because I see a lot of water residue over here. So I'm going to see if we can uh, start by cleaning that up. And maybe I don't want to clean this up because this is definitely not a very good job that the gentleman did. So... We're going to clean that up and we're going to make it right. So I'm going to clean this thing up a bit and uh, let's take a, I'm going to take a couple of other measurements. And uh, we'll see if we can get this working for the customer. And if we do, he'll be very, very happy. All right, so we're back on the, this very uh, interesting repair. Um, as you may notice, I have a couple of uh, new friends over here on the table. So I got my fluke multimeter and I got a... Chinese uh, Aining 682 auto power off whatever crap that is multimeter um, basically what we're doing now is we're gonna test uh, I actually have um, 
this is configured now my probe is actually going to supply power to this uh, board and i noticed that in this area we have shorted components or at least the test shorted so all of these capacitors here every single one of these capacitors test short they are dead shorted um and even these diodes if i'm not mistaken they test shorted but they're not because i pulled one out from the other side actually of the board it's right here and of course the camera won't focus but anyways this is a diode um it tests good so i'm gonna have to put it back um so then what is the issue so a couple of things that i checked uh i actually uh, also i if you notice i cleaned up the board i uh, redid the connections on the uh bios chip right here the main power coming in is okay i tested that i have 19.5 volts uh the bq chip which is actually not a bq chip it's a similar chip but it's it plays the same role as the bq chip which is the uh, power management and charging whatever so this little chip right over here i'm gonna get my pointer again uh where is my pointer of course i can't find it that's right here it's under all my other tools so this chip right over here it's not a bq chip but i'm saying bq because i'm assuming some of you may know what some of this term whatever this terminology i'm saying that's why i'm assuming you already know what i'm talking about but for those who don't know this little chip right over here this chip is responsible for uh regulating and handling whatever power for the battery and the uh, input so on the other side of the board actually there are two mosfets the first two mosfets are on the other side so that basically uh the power goes through those first two then it comes to this bq chip the current sensing and everything is over here if i'm not mistaken there's a current sensor uh, whatever current sending resistor over here so all of this is working this is okay we have our 19.5 volts the issue is on this side this side we have a short i'm assuming we have three mosfets here these are in channel mosfets one two and three it could be that they're blown so what i was doing before was i was injecting voltages on the uh shorted components to see where the chips might get hot uh but the only chip that really got hot not really was the actual component itself that i was testing so what i'm scared of is the fault is in the cpu pch cpu whatever inside the in, in, integrated in the cpu that's my biggest fear and if that's the case then we can't do anything because uh, this is uh, beyond repair uh, i don't have the special tools to remove this chip and put a new one on and sourcing a new chip and blah 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 so all very 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 difficult so what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually uh well i'll show you what's going on actually before i do anything else so like i said now this probe that I have in my hand over here, this probe is gonna be my injector. So I'm putting uh, one and a half volts in the board. And this is what's happening. So I have two meters here. I have, this is my voltmeter. And as you can see, it measures 1.515 volts. And this is my ammeter. This is measuring my current. And this is all hooked up to my power supply up there. So I know, I, I know we can buy power supplies that have all of this built in you know so but i don't have one and i was a bit of in a crunch so i just made the wires myself and i said you know what i have the uh, station already let me just uh, make the wires for it so put some solder and solder the wires and now i'm able to inject voltages so there you go so i'm going to show you some components for example so these are these two capacitors they're i guess in parallel but if i go here look what happened look how much current i'm drawing Th almost four amps dc and look how my voltage dropped so here we go now this is now i have it disconnected so the probe is disconnected and right when i put it on the component notice how my meters jump so my voltage drops and my current goes way 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 up so i have my 1.5 it's normal but as soon as i apply my 1.5 volts short 
So something's going on. Again, I'm I'm hoping it's not the CPU. Let me just show you on the on these guys here. Not as bad, but still we have a, I think it's a bit too high. I think it's a bit too high. So if I go here. Yeah, same thing. So I think this is a bit too high. I go here. Yeah, I think this is a bit too high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull off these three MOSFETs here. And I'm going to see if my short goes away. If my short doesn't go away, then I have a strong feeling my issue is going to be in the uh, in the uh, the CPU here. So, and I mean, just to give you a reference, like I always even, I even was testing the, uh, the, the uh, BIOS chip. So this pin, pin number eight is our VCC. Look at this. We are drawing not even, it doesn't show on the meter, but we're drawing about 10 milliamps. This is okay. This is great. 1.5 volts, 10 milliamps. This is normal. And as you can see, I have my pro bond of eighth pin and we are pulling about 10 milliamps of uh, power. So the 3.3 volt or two volt, whatever this chip runs on, I think it's two volts. This is okay. It's something else over here that's going on that uh, is causing these shorts. That's why this laptop's not even powering on. There's nothing, there's no lights, nothing. And again, look, 3.6, not good, so. Yeah, that's the issue of this laptop is that it's not even powering on. So we're going to have to pull these MOSFETs off. And we're going to see if this solves our problem. Because uh, this is otherwise this is going to be a lot more difficult than I would have initially expected. So let me pull those MOSFETs off and let's see if my short goes away. Okay, so I removed a couple of components from the, from the board. So... Some of them moved out of the way here uh, during the hot air, but I'll, I'll put them back uh, along with these ones. But just to show you, I removed one MOSFET and three diodes, actually four diodes, sorry, just to see if uh, any progress was made. So watch what happens. If I put my probe on there, we still have four amps DC, one volt. So. I'm afraid that the short is internal to the CPU and also given the fact this is uh, the power regulation for the CPU I, I'm almost 100% certain that the internals of the CPU are actually gone um, again uh, the only way to repair this would be to take the CPU out put a new chip in reflow and everything unfortunately I don't have those tools to do that um, but yeah, I mean, look here, if I go, even where, look, look at this, where the MOSFET has been removed. So let me go on the, on this over here and let me show you. Four amps. This is not good. Let me go on the gate of the MOSFET. And you'll see that this is good. 10 milliamps, 100 milliamps. This is okay. And we have no short there. The gates of the MOSFET are okay. So here's the second gate. 140 milliamps, about 1.5. This is okay. So the both gates, because in this MOSFET here, there are two gates. <coughs> Basically, there's two MOSFETs in this one package. Um, they're both okay. Now, if I go here, again, 4 amps, so... I'm afraid the problem is internal to the CPU and the only way this will be repaired is if the CPU gets replaced but uh, I, I do not have that expertise unfortunately I don't have well I mean I do have the expertise but I don't have the tools uh, in order to do that kind of a job so I'll put everything back for the customer and I'll let them know unfortunately this one cannot be repaired uh, given the circumstances so again just to recap what we did basically we we checked our input our input is okay we have 20 volts pretty much 19.5 9.8 19 19.8 volts coming in our bq chip our monitoring chip over here is okay this is working like it should uh everything over here is okay the uh, super io chip which is right here this is okay uh the the uh the um 
the uh, what's it called the uh, BIOS chip is okay as well I checked that and the only real way I mean if you want to be really extra certain is if you have a heat camera unfortunately I don't have a heat camera but I can bet you anything when I put the camera on you will see that this is getting nice and warm um, again this is something that unfortunately we can't do anything about it because it's internal so we will let the customer know and uh, I'm just gonna put this all back so that it doesn't look like it's a mess and uh, we'll let him know when he can come and get it so unfortunately this one can't be repaired today so I guess you win some you lose some right but we did what we can and with what we have so if you guys like this video please subscribe and bleep bloop down there in the comments um hit the bell and uh hope you guys will uh i'll catch you on the next one all right so until then take care guys Bye bye